It was only a couple days ago that we were just talking about how A.G. Aonuma was sending out a little bit of hints, some feelers, some light information on the next Zelda game. And we were talking about the brand new next big 3D Zelda game. And if you want all of those details, I encourage you at least watch half of the prior video so you actually get the new quotes in that video about the new Zelda game. But here's the thing, that game's not arriving I don't know, until four years from now, five years from now, we're clearly going to get something before then. And there's one particular game we actually spent a decent amount of time talking about, especially heading into the Game Awards, and that was Ocarina of Time. It, it, it feels like it's time for that game to get a remake. Yeah, 25th anniversary, blah, blah, blah. That's coming on. But... There's been some rumors and some other hints out there for a while. We had this rumor from Zippo who, look, we don't need to go down that road again. But we also had this thing where Aonuma mentioned Raru and how people don't know who he is anymore. And he finds that to be fascinating as a character from prior games. He was clearly referencing Ocarina of Time, and he's done these things where he's made references to old games in the past that turned out were actually in the works for remakes. But today, we have a new reason, a new hint from the man himself, the producer of the Zelda series, talking about Ocarina of Time, and literally, specifically, a remake of Ocarina of Time. And this stuff has me very, very excited so I don't want to waste any more of your time. I just want to jump right in because when we talk Zelda, I get a little tingly. This comes from an interview that A.G. Aonuma did with Game Informer while he was in town for the Game Awards. And here is a quote. It happened right at the end of the interview. Game Informer says, Thank you so much for your time. I've heard about how sometimes questions about games can inspire them to be made. So I selfishly want to ask you about a modern Ocarina of Time remake. But I have a feeling I know the answer I'll get. Aonuma responds, laughing, and then says, no comment. And he says no comment excitedly, you know, with the exclamation point. He's not like... <laughs> no comment. It's more like, <laughs> no comment. Like, he's so excited. So, it's really, really interesting to think about this because these are the sort of hints that Al Numa has given before. Like, he could have just said, oh, you know, he could have talked about his love of Ocarina of Time, but how they have no plans for it at the moment. He could have went into denial mode, and that's not what he did. He literally just said, I'm not going to talk about it. So he was asked directly about, hey, how about a remake of Ocarina of Time? No comment. I'm, look, this isn't a confirmation that Nintendo is working on an Ocarina of Time remake. Some people might treat it like that. I don't do that, guys, okay? You guys know if you listen to my videos, I give you the full context, and then I give you my opinions and my thoughts on it, and those are my own. But the actual news is definitely not a confirmation. It's just not a denial. He was given an opportunity to deny that an Ocarina of Time remake is in the works, and he didn't do that. He just laughed about it, got excited, and said no comment. Look, if we're going to overread into this because that's what we're going to do because clearly I do think this means Ocarina of Time Remake is coming. Now, I don't know if it's coming next year, 2025. I have no idea, probably for Switch 2. But I want to dive into this while reminding you that, hey, folks, we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm going to let some eggplants smack you in the face. And I'm sorry, I was going to have something else come in, but I just keep forgetting to get more things. All we have are Oreos and then, I guess, donuts for new subscribers. So, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think about that down below, and let's just dive into the thoughts on these quotes. So, what's really interesting to me is the way Aonuma phrases all of this, talking about how he's laughing and saying the no comment and doing it in an excited manner, to me almost feels like he knows about something that he can't talk about right now. And 
I, look, obviously Al Newman knows everything going on with Zelda. He is literally the producer of the entire IP. He probably knew about the Zelda movie long before it was announced. It's not like that's going to be a project that will be announced that's going to catch him off guard. He obviously knows what the next Zelda game is going to be. He works directly with Fujibayashi. And yes, he's going to know about any remake, remaster plans as well. And while obviously we did not get a remake or remaster announced at the Game Awards, which by the way, wasn't actually rumored to happen. It was just educated speculation and look speculation is what it is like i'm not here to hype you up on a brand new announcement coming up this february which by the way they've had a february direct like for the last five years so they're clearly probably gonna well i shouldn't say probably but you know what no i will say they're probably gonna have a direct this february i don't think we're gonna get an ocarina of time remake announcement soon because i don't think it's gonna happen till after the nintendo switch 2 is announced and i don't think it's gonna happen next year although they could tease it towards the end of the year for 2025. Basically, what I'm saying is, my personal opinion is an Ocarina of Time remake is dropping in 2025. Now, the big thing is, I don't think the main Zelda team would be working on this if it was happening. I do think they would have a trusted team work on it. Heck, maybe even Monolith Soft themselves. Maybe grezel has been working on it this entire time since, you know, Link's Awakening back in 2019. So it's entirely possible they have a very big trusted team working on it. But the big thing is the remake aspect, because again, the question focused on a modern Ocarina of Time remake, not a remaster, not taking the 3DS version and bringing it into HD, a full on modern remake. So whether that's an Unreal Engine or whether that's just in the Breath of the Wild engine. And the engine isn't really that important, guys. You guys focus a lot on the engines. It's not going to look visually like Tears of the Kingdom, right? It's still got to feel like Ocarina of Time, and those art styles aren't the same. But I just find this to be something I really want to happen, and that's why we keep talking about it. Ocarina of Time is an important game, and a very important game in not just Nintendo's history, but obviously Zelda's history. It brought Zelda into a 3D space, but more importantly, I think there's a lot of modern Zelda gamers today that didn't play it. And again, this is something that Alnuma referenced in the past when he said he isn't even sure that today's Zelda fans even know about Raru, the character outside of Tears of the Kingdom. That's something he previously said in a prior interview. So this is now twice that he's made reference to Ocarina of Time. One unprompted, the other asked directly about a remake and not denying it. It just makes sense. Look, they've already HD'd slash remastered every single 3D Zelda game to date, besides obviously Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom that, well, right now you can't really do much more with it. We can bring in the 4K 60 FPS of the next system, I suppose. I think that's going to happen anyways. But I, I do think that Ocarina of Time is just back on deck. Look, the 3D Zelda games sell the best and he just made a reference not too long ago that there's an entire new audience of Zelda fans that never played this masterpiece. And if redone, if given a bit more openness, if not quite open world, pretty close to open world, add a few new mechanics in, maybe toss in a little bit of extra content. Next thing you know, I don't know, an extra dungeon or something just for the hell of it. Next thing you know, hey, you might have another 10 plus million seller on your hand. And it's literally a remake of a game that could never do those kind of sales before. And that's because Zelda is more popular than it's ever been. And Nintendo does need stopgap games. Look, Nintendo knows how big the Zelda IP is right now. They're not going to wait until 2028, 2029 to capitalize on the Zelda IP. Yeah, we're going to have the Zelda movie, but they're going to want games to get out there. And who knows? Maybe the movie takes some inspiration from Ocarina of Time, and that's all the more reason to get an Ocarina of Time remake out even sooner. But yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Like we've, we've talked about the Ocarina of Time remake pretty often because I am excited about it, and I like talking about things I'm excited for, but I honestly didn't think this was going to be my first video today. I was pretty much just chilling all weekend. I had family stuff going on. Next thing you know, this quote keeps popping up in my timeline. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Aonuma was actually asked and then didn't deny it? Oh, that's a story to me. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about my hair as well. <laughs> I didn't put it up today and I'm not wearing a hat. So this is the raw dog, Nate. Dried hair right out of the shower. I don't know. Let me know if you like this look. Catch you guys in the next video.